Hello everybody, it's 123 Stealth Bomber here, bringing you another tutorial for Men of War Assault Squad 2's Gem Editor. And today, this is part 2 of the Quickie Tutorial Series. And this tutorial will help you for preparing for your mod, uh, first multiplayer mod. And this time it's going to cover on how to make mini-maps for your multiplayer maps, or for maps in general. Um, it's a completely optional tutorial. You don't need a mini map to use it for a mod, but it's highly recommended so you know what's going on. And especially like this, since I have no mini map for this map, it it just looks like it's really confusing. It just looks like a mess, pretty much. So today we're going to focus on that. Um, so this video is going to be quite long, so make sure you pause parts or you rewind parts or watch it again because this tutorial is going to be quite long. Um, getting mini maps to work are easy, but it's just that there's a lot of steps involved. So let's jump right in. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do here is load the map in F2 mode. As of right now, I have it loaded in F3. So if you haven't already, load the map in F2 because we're going to need it for this part of our tutorial um, in order for this to work. So now we just wait for it to load up in F2. Okay, so once you have it loaded in F2, there's no scripting, no units. There shouldn't be. Uh, if you did, make sure you get rid of them. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is get rid of any things that are popping up on the minimaps icon. So for example, these things where my mouse are, anything like these, you want to get rid of. So this little trailer right here, I want to get rid of it. And the reason for why we're getting rid of these icons in the map is because once we take the picture, it's going to load these small icons as well if we just keep them here. So let's say if you, these things are destroyed, well then they'll still be here even though they are destroyed because remember you're technically overlapping it um, and it's technically telling what it used to look like when the map's here so you want to make sure the map is completely clean of vehicles cannons um, tanks anything that like that you have so this tractor um, anything that comes up with an icon you want to get rid of and don't worry you are not saving the map so just get rid of them for this time being you are not going to be saving this so this is just for taking a picture of your map um, so these trucks that are hiding in these hangars you want to get rid of these or things that like that come up as an icon uh, and again another trailer right here I want to get rid of as well okay so now you've cleared once you cleared everything off your map uh, you want to go to your clips so just like um, what I had for a couple of tutorials before, it was on boundaries and clips. Um, this one, and pretty much what we're going to do here is what you're going to do is go to your presets on auto uh, if you have one. And pretty much you're going to move them outside your map. Again, we are not saving this instance of this map, so do not worry. Uh, essentially what you're doing here is when we take the map of, you know, um, the picture of the map, you want to make sure they're outside of the map because if you take the picture and they're inside the map like they used they're supposed to be then you're going to be seeing these yellow purple and blue and green lines and you don't want to and pretty much the only way to get rid of that by that point is to you know pretty much use a, a program to get rid of it by like editing it out and stuff so and to save all your troubles instead of doing that way just move them out of the you know the maps boundaries pretty much you want to move them way out of there um, so I'm just going to try to move them if I can. Hold on. There we go. So, so I'm going to do this to all four sides so it makes it a lot easier for me. So these won't come up when we take the picture. Uh, well, they will, but they won't be inside the map itself. Because what we're going to do is when we start loading it, this uh, image into a program, we're going to essentially crop the image so all this stuff outside, like all this blackness, will be gone. So... Um, yeah, so now, okay, so this side's all set as well. So once you did that, um, you can go back. Uh, pretty much, you're going to now click off where it says clip camera position. So check this off. And essentially, 
what this does is it keeps a you know your camera in sync so if you had it checked on where you can't go higher than your normal for a camera when you're playing the regular game if you check this off this allows you to zoom in or zoom out pretty much infinitely um, and what you're gonna do is is once you check it off zoom out as far as you can so you want to zoom out until you see your entire map um, so keep zooming out and if you don't have a good PC um, I would suggest lowering your graphics just for this one point because it's going to get laggy especially like it, as you can see right here I mean I have a good PC but since there's so many objects there's just you know so much to load in one uh, you know by looking at it all at once so you want to make sure if you have a low on PC it's going to lag for you I suggest lowering your graphics or whatever to make sure it doesn't crash your your editor or whatever the case may be because um, it's going to happen regardless of, even if you do have a very good PC um, so now what we're going to do is once we zoomed out we're going to pretty much face our camera north position so why are we doing it this way is because if we take the picture in another um, direction if we take it east west uh, east west or south what will happen is when we load it back into the maps folder <coughs> excuse me um, it'll essentially it'll put the map backwards so make sure it has to be north pretty much that's like the norm it's that's the zero position pretty much if you that's like the normal default position um, if you load it if you put it south so how do you know in the direction you're facing well in the mini map as you could see there's these little icons you know N for north s for south e uh, e for east and w for west pretty much you want to face your camera towards the north position now for men of war assault squad and men of war assault squad 2 your cam well your mini map will have these little uh, indications telling you which way is facing which however the older men of wars for example original men of war does not have this feature so if you are working on a mini map for the original men of war how do you know which way you're facing well it's complete trial and error you're gonna have to pretty much try all four ways um, which kinda sucks but I think that's why the developers did it so when they're making their mini maps they just put like a north south east and west so you kinda know which way you're going because technically when you're playing this game you don't really need to care about direction so um, I think this is a reason why they added it in so it makes it easier for when you're um, facing north so make sure you always face the camera north now what I have here is you want a complete top down of the map so make sure you zoom out all the way so you can see from end to end of the map and you want to make sure you are completely top down not for example something like what I have my camera as of right now this is not acceptable you want to make sure it's completely straight top down as I have it right now because as you can tell when you load up like a regular map that has a you know a mini map you'll notice it kinda looks exactly how we have it right now am I right so you want to pretty much you're taking a picture straight down at 90 degree angles going straight down um, and yeah that's really I have all I have for you again um, another thing I want to mention is you want to make sure it's completely lined up if for example if I just rotate my camera how it's on an angle again that's also gonna be kinda unacceptable because when you're gonna bring the photo the photo into like some program um, it's gonna be kinda hard to crop the image because it's you know it's on an angle um, so it's easiest way to do it is just line it so it's perfectly 90 degrees um, you know with the camera and the map so make sure it's as best as you can it, you know you're not gonna get it perfect but try and get it as close as you can get so how I have it right here is pretty much good um, if it's off a little bit I'm you know I'm not gonna worry too much because this is just an example for a tutorial so I'm not gonna go crazy so when you're all set with all this stuff you can take your picture with the steam integration picture taking fe feature uh, and you do that by ta uh, by pressing F12 on your keyboard so it'll say at the bottom right men of war assault squad 2 screenshot saved and we are all done with the editor so when you're done you can just exit out and again you do not have to save this so you can just when it says you wanna save it you can hit no 
Okay, now we're on our desktop here, and we're gonna pretty much you're gonna wait for your screenshot uploader to load up. If it doesn't load up, you can find it in the files, or there's probably some something on here where you can find your photos. I believe there is. I don't know. Um, you would have to look around. But for the most part, when you exit a game, it'll show all the pictures that you've taken in that one session while you're playing. Um, and you pretty much you want to only select one picture. If you've taken multiple instances of this picture. Um, I would try and focus on the best one that you've taken. Um, so yeah, like for example, mine, I only taken one. So pretty much what you want to do is select the image. All right, so select the image that you want and hit show on disk. So when you hit show on disk, it's going to bring up the file location on where these pictures are stored inside uh, Steam. So what you're going to do is just um, click the image that you want and drag it to your desktop. Okay, and then pretty much you can get rid of that, uh, get rid of all that stuff. So now we have our image on the main desktop. So now what we need to do is pretty much edit this photo. So I'm going to be using a program um, called Photoshop. I don't know what you guys are going to be using, but in my case, I'm going to be using Photoshop. Um, and pretty much I'm going to open it. If you don't have Photoshop, you can. Uh, there's probably other programs that allow you to edit a photo. All you're really doing here is taking this photo and cropping the image so you can get rid of all that unnecessary stuff that's on the sides of the image. Um, so if you don't have, like, if, yeah, if you don't have uh, Photoshop, there's probably others like maybe Windows Live Photo Gallery. I don't have no idea because I've really never used that program, but I don't think it can. Um, but like I said, Photoshop is probably the best idea. Um, but like I said, there's probably others out there that allow you to do this as well. So um, open up your image, whatever program you're using. Now, if you are using Photoshop, you can follow along. If not, then you're just going to pretty much do what you have to do in order to crop an image in that program that you're using. Um, but for the people who are who do own Photoshop, pretty much you're going to click on the background and make it a new layer. Uh, you're going to make another layer as well, and pretty much, pretty much what you're going to do is click on the main layer and create, uh, use the selection tool, and you're going to drag a box pretty much around the map. So, um, yeah, that should be good. And see how I didn't perfectly align it 90 degrees? As you can see, it's kind of hard to um, make a selection around it. That's okay. I can still, you know, use the um, selection tool to get rid of some extra excess stuff. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Control X uh, to cut that picture out. And I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna pretty much delete the rest of this because I don't need the excess around of this image. And pretty much I'm gonna paste it into the new layer. So as you can see all this extra black on the sides, now what you could do is if you're in Photoshop or your other programs, you can pretty much go in and do some detailing work by getting rid of that unnecessary wanted stuff. Uh, and I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to go crazy on it, but I'm going to try and do the best I can, kind of just for the demonstration purposes. I'm going to try and get as best as I can to it. Um, so I'm kind of doing this a little fast just for demonstration purposes. But you're going to, when you're making your own mini map, you want to try and do as best as you can so it makes it look nice. So it doesn't look like it was kind of gypped and, you know, just kind of like makeshifted. Um, you want to make it kind of look professional. So I'm going to try and get rid of all this as much as I can. All right, I'm almost done here. Alright, that should be good. I teared off a little bit of extra, but that's okay. So uh, now what we did was we've created pretty much its own thing. The rest of the image that was taken is pretty much all gone. So, But we're still not done here yet. Uh, what we want to do is see this entire rest of this image since it was the original size of the image that it was. Um, if we save it, it's going to pretty much make it a loose, like pretty much have a white background. That's if you make it into a JPEG. But if you make it into a ping, you'll still have um, a looseless background. You'll have an alpha channel on. So um, a transparent background that for that matter. So what, but to get rid of, since it's still extremely small to the original size, what we're going to do is we're going to hit file new. And pretty much when you hit file new on Photoshop, it automatically takes the same size of this image and you're just going to hit OK and it'll like pretty much take the dimensions of this new image. And as you can see now 
it's the same exact dimensions of that new image that we just inserted so we can pretty much um, take this image and copy it into and paste it into this new um, file and there we go so yeah it's gonna like I said since I cropped a little bit using some of the selection tool to delete that extra stuff it's gonna be a little bit um, you're gonna see a little bit of white but not too much it's it won't be as bad so uh, when you're finally so now we can get rid of this this old one okay so now when you're completed with this uh, you're gonna go to your file and hit save as uh, and you're gonna save it to your desktop it doesn't matter what you call it uh, I'll just I'll just call it minimap for now and uh, you don't want to hit save as right away because when in Photoshop for example it'll try and save it as a PSD uh, what you want to do is save it as a JPEG or you can even save it as a ping file as well um, but JPEG is probably your um, go-to for that so I'm gonna choose JPEG and I'm just gonna save it to the desktop okay now we're still not done so uh, if I open it it's gonna just have it like this which is fine but we're still not done here what we need to do is finally open this up and transfer it into a new file format called uh, DDS DDS is pretty much another file format for images that men of war can read um, and DDS is specifically made for using and making um, uh, mini maps so if you looked in the files um, you know other missions people have made or developer maps you'll see a DD dot DDS as their mini map well that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna transfer this JPEG into a DDS file so in order to do that you need a specific program and it's called DXT BMP so I'm gonna open this up now if you don't have DXT BMP I suggest you do get it it's free trust me there's no viruses because I've been using it for quite a while now um, but I'm still learning it, so I'm kind of new to it. So forgive me if I make some mistakes. I, you know, it's, I'm still fairly new to this. But uh, DXT BMP. The reason why we need this is because this is pretty much one of the only programs that can convert an image to a DDS file format. So I'm going to open up um, that JPEG file that we've created from our Photoshop. I'm going to open it and okay so as you can see there it'll open up in here and all I'm gonna really do is just gonna go file save as and then it'll be right there DDS texture again I'm gonna save it to the uh, to the main desktop and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I already it's already there for me but I'm gonna type in it again you need to call it minimap and then when you hit save it'll just put dot DDS um, if you call it anything else, I believe it won't work. It won't register it as an actual minimap file. So make sure you call it minimap. You make sure it's um, spelled correctly and all that stuff. And then .dds. So when I hit save, um, you'll notice it's going to create a new file format. And for some of you that have gone into the file uh, locations, you're going to remember. You might mention you might actually remember this file format like the the icon how it has like a picture and it has like a picture inside the piece of paper um, so yeah this is exactly what we're gonna need so now what we can do is just drag this um, DDS file into our file location so in order to do that what we're gonna do is um, go to our file location so I'm gonna open up my file uh, and I'm gonna scroll down to program files 86 I'm going to scroll down from here and search for Steam. Now, once I'm in Steam, I'm going to look for Steam Apps, then Common, and pretty much all this is all your games, um, pretty much for your Steam library. So. Uh, yeah, so we're searching for Men of War Assault Squad 2. Now, if you're doing it in the other Men of Wars, um, obviously you're going to want to click them on here. But um, in my case, I'm going to be using Men of War Assault Squad 2. Uh, now, I'm going to, since this map is not in a mod, it's under my resource folder. So it's not in a mod, so I'm going to go to resource, then map. And then co-op zero underscore zero one because that's where I have the map located. If it's in a mod, um, then you would go to mods folder and then you would search for the map for there. So it, where I went from mine, it does depend on where you save this map to. 
So pretty much now we have our map folder location, and I can take the minimap.dds and just drag into um, right into this folder. And that's really about it. So we can uh, close. Actually, I'll minimize this for now. I'm going to close out of DXT and uh, close out of Photoshop as well. And let's load it up in the Men of War Soul Squad 2 editor. And when you load it up, now you put it into the file location. It's automatically going to be there no matter if you load it in F2 or F3. It should automatically pop up when you uh, load it up. I'm going to load it up in F3 for my case. And we're just going to wait for it to load up here. Okay, and there you go. So, as you can see, the map is correctly aligned. As you can see, how we remember how we had that white outline. Uh, let me hold on one sec. Let me just adjust the size of it so you can see a little bit better. All right, so uh, wait, hold on one more second. Uh, management. Okay, there we go. Okay, so as you can see right here, um, it made the size of this mini map correct to the actual size of the minimap that we've created it as. Uh, you'll see those white outlines because remember how I was a little sloppy with it. Again, when you're going to be making your own minimap, you're going to try and make it as best as possible. Um, and yeah, that's really about it. It's correctly facing north. Everything's in pretty much the correct position. Uh, like for example, let's go to these guys over here. And pretty much they're in the exact correct yeah, position boy. as they were. And even when I select a guy and he's all, um, you know, uh, he, you know, moves um, correlating to the minimap. And yeah, that's really about it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, rather long tutorial. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it, uh, liked it, and favored it, all that stuff. If you have any questions or comments and or concerns about this, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. Um, uh, if you want to contact me to my email, my Facebook, my Steam, I'll have all that stuff in the link, uh, well, all the links in the description so you can contact me through there. And as well as I'll also put up all the um, download links if you want to download Photoshop or DXT. Um, I'll have those up in the description as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you guys next time.